Hi everybody, it's Isaac here, back with another video. Today's video I'm going to be talking about a very confused topic that um, I understand, not everybody does, and it's kind of annoying when people mess this up all the time. And that is the lag on Nitro-type. Not on other games, this does not apply to other games because uh, Nitro-type is a bit of an interesting case, as in most browser games are. But uh, lag is not things loading slowly, it's not you having bad internet, that's not lag. It is in other games, but it's not in Nitro-type. If you're having lagging, or like you know, things look really stuttery and kind of hard to find an example because I use a nice computer and nothing really lags on my videos that much. But if I were to pull up an old video, or you could go to any of my old videos where I race and you would definitely find that there's lag. Um, that is where things kind of look stuttery. So instead of the cars moving smoothly like this, they kind of like, like they don't move backwards. I can't accurately move, do it with my mouse. But they don't look smooth. They look like, like they're stuttering, like they're just not moving fluidly. That is lag. And that is caused by your computer, not by your internet. When it comes to Nitro Type, other games, like really any online competitive games, bad internet can actually cause lag. But this is not how that works. In Nitro Type, it does not cause lag. Now, how can you tell whether it's an issue with your computer or an issue with your internet? With your internet, things may lag or they may not lag, depending on if you have a good computer, but things will consistently load slowly. You can always run a, ni not a Nitro Type speed test, geez, an internet speed test, speedtest.net. And if your internet download is like below, th I'd say five megabits per second, and things seem to be loading pretty slow, that's probably the reason. However, if you have a slow computer, things will also load slowly. So, really the ultimate way to fix lag then, that is, you need to get a computer that is decent. It doesn't need to be fast, it doesn't need to be like a $5,000 gaming PC. I have a gaming laptop, it's really nice for Nitro Type, I do use it for other things and I plan on using it for more things in the future. Uh, I do a lot of Nitro Type on this thing, and it runs it just fine, as I would expect a gaming laptop to. Um, however, Nitro Type is also really poorly optimized, which is why you do need a nicer computer to run it. Uh, Nitro Type is really not optimized for any browser. I do recommend if you don't have that much RAM, definitely don't use Chrome when you do Nitro Type. Use like Firefox or whatever the other ones are. Um, don't don't use Microsoft Edge. It's not a really a good alternative because it's basically the same thing as Chrome with a different name. But yeah, Firefox, I think Brave is one, uh, I don't know, you, you'd have to ask somebody who's more well-versed in software than I am. But yeah, computers cause most lag, however, internet can cause slow loading. Uh, and I noticed this with this laptop, with all like the processing bottlenecks removed, I'll go down to my grandma's house sometimes, and just stay in there for a while, and I'll do maybe a little bit of racing if I have some time where I'm not doing anything, and I will notice things take longer to load, and it's not my computer, it's just their internet. That is something to keep in mind. So if your internet is bad, it can cause things to load slowly, but it will not cause lag on Nitro Type. So if you're recording and you find it's really laggy, that's not a fault of your internet, that is a fault of your computer. And you don't really need to replace your computer unless it gets really bad. Like the old desktop I was using before I got this gaming laptop was pretty bad. Um, its specs were actually not bad. I was always confused on why it lagged because it didn't have bad specs. Um, I, I'm assuming there was maybe some sort of malware or maybe some sort of glitch, I don't know. But and I got to the point where I actually, it's a very good thing my laptop came in when it did, because literally the day I got it, the desktop would crash like every 10 minutes I would try to do racing, which is not great. Um, so yeah, that's something to keep in mind, is that it's mostly your computer, it's not your internet, but if you notice slow loading and not that much lag, it's probably your internet. So then, what do I recommend for computer, uh, if you do want to replace it? You don't really need to spend that much money, I'd say just a computer for Nitro Type and maybe recording videos, you don't need to spend more than $500. Um, I would say, now this is, that that's going to seem like a lot for somebody who maybe doesn't have a job, but um, $500 is not that bad for a computer these days, and for what you get, you can get a pretty decent computer. I recommend a quad core and at least 8 gigs of RAM with whatever, how much storage you want. Please get at least 256 gigabytes of storage. That's just, that doesn't have to do with lag, that just is a must have. Um, if you're not going to get a dedicated graphics processor, which you're probably not going to find very many laptops for $500. Uh, with a dedicated graphics processor, you're probably going to have to at least double your budget before you find those. Um, I recommend going with an AMD CPU. They run cooler. They run. Qu they do run quieter, unless the cooling solution is bad. Um, and they have a much better integrated graphics card than Intel CPUs. So please go with AMD. Uh, I'm not trying to like make Intel look bad, but their integrated graphics suck compared to AD AMD. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, and that's pretty much it for today's video. I know today's video didn't really have to do a lot of typing, but this is a really big issue in the Nitro community considering most people race at school or on a Chromebook, and Chromebooks are not fast. Believe me, I had one for about a year, and it actually died on me because I pushed it too hard, and I wasn't pushing it that hard. Um, so yeah, 
I recommend also just get a Windows computer if you want to get a new computer um, that's compatible with the most things, or Mac if you like Mac, but you're not going to find very many Macs that are cheap. So Windows computers are typically the best of both worlds. Mac does have some advantages. I should have added that earlier in the video. That's all right. Make sure to enter the giveaway that I'm currently doing. Um, it's just I'll link the video in the description. It explains how to enter. Not that hard. Um, and that will be ending on June 5th, unless I change that date, which I very well might. My last day of track and school is tomorrow, Friday, May 20th, 2022. So because of that, I'll be able to upload a little more consistently, and maybe I'll have some better quality videos um, now that I actually have time to do things. And we will see what goes on from there. So that is it for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one.